Do you email your cousins your drama? Do you email them? Does that sound normal? No. Why would you be emailing your cousin, girl? No. I don't know. I don't so email. Anyway, girl, I'll call you later. Right, girl. Why are you lying? Stop lying. If you want the tea, come get with seriously. Talk about your favorite web series. Right here on seriously. All right, we're back. We're back. Y'all already know. You already know who we um, are. Who we are. I'm just gonna repeat what everything. we're doing. What we're doing. And why we're doing it. That's the one. <laughs> That's the one. You already know. Yep. Yep. It's Seriously Podcast, giving you all of the tea on your favorite digital series. Mm-hmm. It's me. Mil- That's not your name. That's not your name. I was really about to say it's Mary. I know. But. You're lying but to we're people. one. Nobody needs to know. I'm Mary. I'm Brittany. And welcome back. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> and we here. That's her. Got on. All right, y'all. S E R I E S L Y podcast. Yeah. <laughs> she know me. Oh, um, so we are um, back again, and we are talking about reasonable doubt. And before we get into it, make sure you're following us on all social media platforms at Seriously Podcast. And listening to us on all podcast platforms at Did I just say that? Yes. <laughs> I just wish I knew how to talk. Listen, you can find us wherever you can find podcasts. Yes, yes. <laughs> and if you want to see us, you can see us on Black Oak TV. That's the place. Coming soon. Um uh, <laughs> And um, just follow us on social media platforms as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, DM us, call us, text us, whatever. We're Don't here. Don't do all that. Just comment. Just, <laughs> just comment. Just be present. And press like. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's all we need. Um, okay, so this week we are doing Reasonable Doubt, episode seven. Mm-hmm. What's the title? Mm-hmm. The, uh, Igo what? Igo who? Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. They really just doing Jay Z songs. Jay- Does Jay Z know about this? Is it clear? <laughs> Has anyone spoken to him Does about you- <laughs> this? Did he sign off? Because we don't want to be canceled. Because I have yet to see Sean Sean Carter. Carter. I haven't I've seen yet it. To see it. I haven't seen it. Um, I hope it is. We really hope it is, guys. Blue, Blue Ivy will be very upset. She does not play these games. No, 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 not no. on her watch. No, you can't do that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. She's their manager for sure. Absolutely, she don't have time to play. Come on, <laughs> not messing with Blue Ivy. Um, in this episode, we are focusing on Lewis. Lulu, he innocent. That's all I got to say. He innocent. Let me say, Lewis is a good guy. That's a good man, right that there. That is a good man. That's a black king, right there. Let me say, Lewis. He tried. He tries and he is, he just wants his family. That's it. He wants his best friend and he wants his family That's together. That's it. That's it. He just, he wakes up every day with family on the mind, mm. his wife, his kids. He, he, he grinds for them. He wants to be loved. That's it. Let me, Lewis just wants to be loved and there's nothing wrong with that. He is feeling a little unappreciated. He is feeling, <laughs> Cherish said it best, feeling really unappreciated. Okay? That song was made for Lewis. Taking my love for granted, baby. They said that. They said it. And I don't know how much more I could take from you. He doesn't know. He's at his breaking point. Literally. Literally. At his breaking point. Because how much love can you give someone and you don't feel reciprocated? It breaks you down. It makes you think, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? When will they see me and love me? How? Yes. Yes. So these are the the questions that Lewis is navigating through. (laughs) Navigating through. Okay. For years. Oh, yeah. At At least 16. At least 16 years. He is going through it, and um, he just wants to get back. He's innocent. I felt so bad for him. I know. So, so let's get into let's it. Let's get into let's it. Let's talk about Lulu. Lou. 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 Let's get into episode seven. First of all, we have Lewis. 
living his life, mm. ready for the day, working out, getting crunked to some um, meek meal. Uh-huh. That is always a song to get you lit. Yeah. Um. So he goes to pick up his kids. Yeah. He's a dad. He's a dad. Dad first. Dad first. Dad first. And he is a number one dad. Like, you're not going to see him slacking. <laughs> He's going to be the parent-teacher meetings. He's uh, um, the associations. He's there. He knows the teachers. He knows the kids in the class. He has a he schedule after everyone. school activities, mm-hmm. everything. He's, He's a dad. there. He's, he's that proud dad. So he goes to pick up his kids, minding his business. Yeah, he's just waiting, waiting. Here come this lady, soccer mom ho. I'm calling her soccer mom ho. She just real like she. You can tell, uh, Lou, Lewis and Jack's relationship is not even five minutes off the grid, and you're already plotting. Yeah. Back she heard up. through the grapevine, yes, listening like, to her kids talk, and she couldn't <laughs> wait to say, "Oh, you know, I you know how it is with single parents, like." We're not the same. Right. Cause I'm divorced. I'm divorced. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. Um, and she's very like, it's clear that she's trying to get a piece of yeah. Lewis. Because she heard, you know, they're separated. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she's like, and I'm divorced. So yeah. you're almost there. Yeah. So like, come on to the other side. I'll help you get over. <laughs> and Lewis like, chill. We're figuring some stuff out. First of all, he said, who are you? Right. <laughs> so I'm Leilani's mom or whoever. Doesn't ring a bell. Oh, okay. Sure. And then she's like, take my number to call or chat or, you know, play date. Okay. Sure. I guess. That's what parents do. Sure. Let's let's exchange. Yeah. He's not thinking nothing of it, but she's like real open. Like, I hope you use it. I hope yeah. you call me. Back up. Mm-hmm. And I just love how we let Jax do whatever she want. We let Jax hang and slam. But the minute Lewis, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Where's your wristband, lady? Get away from him. <laughs> but Jax be like, go, girl. No, we what would is, never root for Jax. We never was go, girl. We never. But we never was upset. We never was upset. We was just like, okay, they're separated. She's having her fun. Why, why can't Lewis have his fun? Lewis can't have That's why I say he's innocent. Lewis okay. can't have his fun. But I, don't, I, I want Lewis to have his fun, but also, I think I just don't like her. Mm-hmm. Like her and he's just like, just calm down. Like, if it's going to happen, let it happen organically. Like, we know uh, Jack, I think cause what it is, Jax and Damon have history. So we let it history, slide. Yeah. Yeah. So this lady a little too thirsty for me. She, she does come off a bit aggressive. It's a bit aggressive. Mm-hmm. It's a bit aggressive. So um, in another car, we see Brandon. <laughs> Brandon? Derek. Yeah. Derek. That sounds right. Because <laughs> I was about to say Brayton, and that's not his name. Brayden. Yes. That's the one. But it's actually Derek. It's Derek. So Derek is in the car with his wife. He's, he's pissed. Big mad. You know, the night before she came home, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, just from laying it down on Kalisha's husband, but hey, um, she <laughs> said she's out with some friends. Yep. And so he's just looking out the window, just... Oh, since when you and Kalisha's husband are friends? He got footage. He got footage. He got receipts. Who is the private investigator that Who gave you it? this information? William? Will, is it you? Are you working on is this your new job, Will? <laughs> I can see you being Will. I can see it. So he got the receipts, and she just like, I need to do what I need to do to protect my family. Yeah. I'm going to do whatever it is. like Because I don't know what you're doing. You're, you're seems to be accepting that fate and I'm not letting it happen. I'm not. I got to do what I have to do. Right. Okay. You were breaking down the family. I'm building us back up. Yeah. Yeah. And so she, you know, wants to know like the relationship with Alicia, did you love her or was it just like a fling? <laughs> she has to keep asking this question because she knows deep down he was in love with that woman. Absolutely. That woman. Okay. Love. First of all, I just want to say, you know, he he lies to her. Yes. And says, you are my center. And it sounds lovely. Oh, that sounds beautiful. I would love to be someone's center. center. Like, I would love that. The center is zoomed. You zoom in. You're The center of the earth. Like, you are my world. That's what that is. So she's like, oh, my God. She's feeling reassured. Like, oh, my God, he really loves yes. me. I'm Emily a sister. Who, Kalisha can't say that. Yeah. But apparently. That's his line. <laughs> okay. Because when we get to the court, um, uh, Fallon's on the, on the Fallon stand. Fallon with the glasses. With Kalisha's glasses. 
She doesn't understand. And they made her read an email. I have a couple of things to say about that because who... <laughs> Let me just ask you this. Yes. Cleisha reads the email and the email is like giving tea like, oh girl, I don't know. He's not leaving his wife. I don't know what I'm doing. Do you email your cousins? Your drama? Do you email them? Does that sound normal? No. Why would you be emailing your cousin, girl? No. I don't know. I don't so email. Well, anyway, girl, I'll call you later. Right, girl. Why are you lying? Stop lying. Because like, okay, okay, writers, I guess they needed this for the court. But anyway, in this email, uh, Kalisha also says to the cousin, oh my gosh, um, I love him. He told me I was his center. Sarah in the back like, <gasps> and he, he's like, somebody said center? Who's that? Center? center? Who, who said that? Sir. You. You beauty. can't even switch it up? You can't even, you can't say you are my world? <laughs> You're the number one. Like at least they can argue that. Yeah. Stupidly, but they can argue it. Like well, he said, he, I'm his world. Well, I'm his center. Who would you rather be, the world or the center? Hmm. I want to hmm. be the center. Yeah, center. Center just sounds very um, classic. It does. Something about it's just like old romance. Yes, <laughs> love that. Now I would take that. So yeah. you're using that willy nilly across the world. <laughs> No. How many centers do you have? How many centers? I thought it was just one center, <laughs> one core. Oh, you're my core. What about a core? I could take a core. I like center. All right, we'll take center. We'll stick with that. But either way, he has two. Yeah. And there's no way you can come from that. Like we have you. So you clearly loved her. Yeah. Absolutely. And you lied to your wife multiple times. But what else is new? What else is new? Jack's friend happens to be a therapist. So they have a quick little therapy session. Mm. And Jax is like, listen, this guy that I've been messing with, he's fun, but like, that's all it's going to be. And right. um, he wants more, and I just can't give him that. I just can't do it. And the friend gave amazing advice. If you're dealing with someone and they told you they're looking for something you cannot provide for them, then you need to leave them alone. Correct. Did Jax follow that advice? No. No, she constantly uh, called Damon mm -hmm. and like, hey, haven't heard from you. Yeah. Uh, let's meet up. Yeah. Meet me, meet me at, let me write you a letter. Mm. Meet up me at our spot. Um, she didn't follow directions. No. Now my question to you, how, yeah, you, do you make it clear in the beginning when you're dating what you want or do you kind of let it flow and then see where, what happens? Um, I think that, when I was younger, mm -hmm. I was all about the flow. But as I'm getting older, I feel like um, there needs to be some standards set in place. Absolutely. Um, to avoid any confusion. And there'll be a lot of that. A lot of that. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. I think definitely, I'm not going to say when I was younger. I will say just last month. I just kind of, I feel like, <laughs> even myself or just women in general, we kind of let the men take the lead. Yeah. Or where does he want this to go? It's like, yeah. we have a choice in this too. Right. And I don't know if it's like, um, you feel if you're going to say, oh, I want a relationship, you're going to scare them away. But if you scare them away, they're not for you. Right. And it I, is what it is. It is what it is. And that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you definitely have to be upfront. Mm -hmm. Like why waste men be upfront too. Yeah. Stop wasting uh, everybody's time. Yeah, there are some strange people out here that, like, when you play with their heart, they're going to make you regret it, like, cause harm kind of thing. Like, mm. they don't play about their love. Like, getting revenge? Yes. Mm. I never dealt with that. I don't think you would want to. No, 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 no. I definitely dealt with um, kind of, like, threatening their life. Almost. Yes, yes. Same. Men and women. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. They're both, like, you, you play me. You're going to feel it. Yeah. And like that pettiness. I can't deal with that. It's a little pettiness. It's a little um, disturbed. Yeah. Mental illness. Yeah, 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 mental of course. Illness. Mental illness is real. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you got to be, those are, but you'll see those little red flags in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But when you're having fun, those red flags look like six flags. Yeah. So you're not even paying attention to them. Yeah. 
Pay attention to the flag. Jax, she's talking to you. I'm talking to you, Jax. <laughs> because the flags are there. Yeah. We've been peeping them. Little little Easter eggs. Easter eggs. And so we're just going to tell you to take a minute mm-hmm. and think about that. Yeah, yeah. So um, at this point, uh, let's get back to Lou. Mm. So Louis is um, runs into Jamarion. Mm-hmm. And Jamarion uh, invites him to a party. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, it's just a game night. A couple of fellas, just, you know, real chill vibes. Mm-hmm. Louis is like, you know, I ain't doing nothing else. You know, yeah. I ain't got my wife, I ain't got my kids. So might as well just go out. So uh, he gets there and Jamarion, uh, it's a lot of ladies there. A whole, yeah. a whole bunch of people, nobody knows. Like, it who was a full people? out party. It was a full party, not chill vibes at all. So Louis is kind of like taken back, but he's like, you know what? I'm here. Yeah. Uh, we run into Soccer Mom Ho. Soccer Mom Ho is there. Yeah, she is there. Um, of course she's there. Of course she's there. Why wouldn't she be there? <laughs> Given Louis the eye and still like, why well, I didn't expect, um, I didn't get your call. Why was you expecting a call? Louis like, I didn't even save your number. <laughs> you said you was whose mom? <laughs> like, he's not interested, lady. At all. But she's still... Trying Pursuing. to get in. She's really like trying to make it known. Mm-hmm. I want you. Yes. Yes. Uh, she's not um, hiding it at all. No. So some time passed. Mm-hmm. And uh, first of all, Jamarion hates women. <laughs> is that accurate? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Jamarion is real like, you got to put them in the place. You got to check them. Disgusting. Don't let them disrespect you. You the man. And uh, Louis is kind of like, kind of taken back. <laughs> but he's like, you know what? You're right. I, I am the man. Yeah, she don't appreciate me. She don't, I, all the sacrifice I did for her. And uh, Jamarian's like, you know, that's why you got to put them in their place. And uh, his cousin is kind of like, he's like, how about couples therapy? Yeah, because he's like, all these things that you're saying she doesn't appreciate you for, you know, you agreed to do those things without yes. her even asking. Yes. You decided to do it. And now you're upset that, you know, she's unappreciative of it. Yeah, because when you decided to, you know, uh, take a step back from work, focus on the kids while she went for partner, you you said you would do it. So yeah. why resent her now? Right. Um, I think for Lewis, his thing is just like, I did it for them, but when is it my turn? Yeah. When can I do my dreams? Like when wh- he expecting her to do the same thing, but it's like, did she ask you to do that or right. did you offer? And what is your dream? What? Because aren't you making video <laughs> games? You look, what, games? Is, what is it that you want? <laughs> what does he want? I don't know. Lewis wants more time with Jack. I think he wants her to make him a priority, or just do a sacrifice as much as. Um, he she did he did like he wants her to be like okay let me not take this case yeah let me not go into work today like stuff like that right because there was a moment where you know they're smoking enjoying each other being best friends having a good time or whatever and she gets a phone call he was like ignore it don't answer and she's like but i need to i need it for my case and then that just like pissed him off and he left yeah Yeah. like he wants her to finally put him first that's what it is you think it's a problem no, I, I think he's um, right in, in, yeah. th- in wanting that. But yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Because it's like she's a powerful woman with a powerful job. Yeah. And, you know, work is important. Mm-hmm. But it's like you can't let work overtake your whole life. Yeah. Where you're having an intimate. Like, let's say you're at your daughter's wedding. You go, oh, I got to take this. Like, it's right. a moment. You need to um, create a balance. A balance and create boundaries. Yeah. All of that. All yes. the bees. All the bees. So they had this conversation and this kind of amped uh, Lewis up to like, you know what? I'm going to confront her mm-hmm. at this. I'm with you, Jamarion. Yeah. Jamarion is not the person you want to follow. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because when Lewis is taking a loop around the house, <laughs> what did he find when he opened up door number one? Oh, he finds Jamarion in the whole threesome with a uh, soccer mom ho and soccer some mom other chick. Ho. Yes. Yes. And that caught him in a daze. Luce was stuck. <laughs> <laughs> and Sakamon Holmes was like, you see? Like, you saw, like, this could be you. 
suck my mom, please. 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 But, you know, we're let, we're sort of led to believe that, okay, he's finally just going to give in and do his own thing because Jax is doing her own thing with Why um, are we led Damon. to believe right there? Because of how it ended. Well, how that scene ended. Mm. It, like, went black, like, mm-hmm. as if he, w- he went inside the room. But he didn't. Oh. He went to go see Jax. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. confront her yeah. about how he's been feeling. Wrong time and place. Wrong time and place. I think he saw that image, and he's like, I don't want this life. This is Jamarion. You're cheating on your wife. You're having a threesome, and you're talking about this. Like, I, don't, I can't take advice from this man. This yeah. is not what I want. I think it's a about... Um, I think I think it's kind of like I don't want this life, but I could have this life. Life, but let me talk to this woman one more time True. to see if she understands where I'm coming from, because that really could be me. That I could, could be, be on me. that wave, right? So let me like should I <laughs> uh, 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 let me know? But the way he approached her was wrong. I don't think so, because. Jax was very standoffish. Because like you, we say, they're best friends. They're, they love each other. Yeah. They have a great bond. And she was saying how stressed she was at work. And he's like, oh, come here. And she said, no, it's all right. And he's like, I can't touch you now. I can't even give you a hug. <laughs> and that's when everything went left. It went left. And Jax got real hood. Real hood? Shit, my Iga. Like, whoa, Jax. <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> Because, I mean, she has some valid points. Like, all he's talking about is his feelings. It's like, what about her feelings, too? Like, you haven't asked her about her feelings. You're just telling her how you're feeling, which is Mm -hmm. great. But let's have a discussion. It's not so, like, pointing the finger at her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And giving the ultimatum. Right. Um, But I also think that uh, Jax, both of them, Jax and Luke, they don't know how to have a conversation. Every time they approach this um, situation, it turns into a big argument. Yeah. Every single time. Because neither neither one of them are listening to the other person. Right. They just want to win a conversation. And she goes into it with lawyer eyes. Yes. She goes in lawyer mode. Well, the case is, no, (laughs) bring it down. This is your marriage. This is your marriage. Bring it down. We're not in front of the judge. Um, so all in all, uh, uh, well, basically he said that basically he gave her another ultimatum. Like you need to know, you need to tell me what you want or I'm really going to be done. Right. And she's like, I can't give you that answer. Yeah. She can't give nobody. Nobody. She can't give Damon. She can't give Luke. She's like, I I just can't deal. I can't (laughs) deal with neither one of y'all right now. Well, she's still dealing with Damon and she's still sleeping with him. She's very much like, you can have my body, but you cannot have my heart. I'm sorry. Yes. yes. And he's very much like, I want it all. I want it all. <laughs> I want it all. Okay. I can't have one without the other. Yeah. You need to promise me. Okay. Promise, promise me, that. me. Very, very um, possessive. Very possessive and not at the right moment. Like, mm-hmm. she's in ec- ecstasy at this moment. Like, so she'll say yes to anything. Y'all having sex at the moment. she say yes to anything. And he's just like, in his mind, he's like, yeah, I got her. She goes to go take a shower, and who's texting her? William. William. William, the security guard. He said, call me back ASAP. It's important. Answer the phone. I don't care what happened between us. This is something else. Call me back. And so I got a lot to say about that, but I'm going to say it for the QCC. Yes, 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 yes. But, um... I got some. I got some things. Yeah, prediction. But what thing. Michael did, what he did, was delete those messages. He did. First of all, who taught you that? <laughs> what you know about iPhone? What you 14? know about iPhones? What you and know? The delete. <laughs> How you know you got to swipe? You don't know nothing about that. It's in the cloud. What you know about that? Hmm? <laughs> it's in the recently deleted. You don't know. Put the phone down. Who taught you that? Who? <laughs> You ain't had no time to learn about no iPhone. <laughs> okay? You know about the sidekicks and the Blackberries. Stop it. Stay in your lane. Stay in your okay. lane. Okay? So, um, the next day or whatever, we go to Jamarion and Chanel's uh, daughter's birthday party. Yeah. And so, Jamarion, no, Lewis kind of goes up to, they talking in code about the, the night before. Right. And um, like, oh, I didn't know y'all had an open marriage. She was like, she don't know nothing. Hmm. She don't know nothing. So I was like, 
you know, uh, Lewis is kind of taken for a loop, like, okay. And then uh, Soccer Mom Hope was there mm -hmm. helping packing the goodie bags when she just had her goodies. Yeah. In Jamarion's face. Right. Smiling in this woman's face. Yes, and when... helping. <laughs> you were sitting on that man's face. <laughs> yes! You... How dare you? How dare you? And you think, you're, you, you think this is cute? Trifling. 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 I get it. You're recently divorced. You want to be out here. You don't have any other men. Why are you <laughs> doing this in your close group? With a married man. Married man. Go somewhere. Oh, I was mm. sick. I was sick. Mm. Um, okay. And so that, and you know, like, uh, cut this out, Dre. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> So that kind of makes Lewis think like, yes. I don't want it to be messy. Yes. So let me just leave this alone or whatever. He goes um, to Jack's house later on that evening. And uh, well, what happened? Chanel pulls him to the side. He starts. He oh, starts, yes, yes, yes. So Chanel, after the party, Chanel puts himself like, oh, I'm, I really want you and Jack to work things out. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like she kind of said something like have what me and Jamarion have or something. No, she said like, I, I get that at this moment. She's like really happy. She's like glowing. She's glowing. And <laughs> Luz is like glowing. How Every time I glowing? see her, she rolling her eyes. What's she glowing about? Mm -hmm. So it pulls him on a rampage. She got to interview the whole community. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> he, he goes, becomes investigator now. Like, yes. I thought you were into tech. I yes. thought you were into gaming. <laughs> He's like, what did Jack say to you? Go to him, go to Jack's mom. What has she said anything to you? Trying to figure out who is putting a smile on her face. Cause he knows everybody except for Jack's. He's asking. Yeah. Yeah. Go to Jack. Yeah. She's the source. Granted, she'll curse you out for asking her questions. Absolutely. Cause that's not your business. Absolutely. And then the mom, uh, Jack's mom is like, you know, take it like me and Paul, ma'am. Don't compare. Don't compare. <laughs> and then she also had mentioned like, Oh, what had happened with her and Paul? He said, what happened? He said, what happened with you? Oh, uh, you know, the drinking. Um, I've been married to this woman 16 years. What happened? What happened? So obviously we know there was definitely some sexual assault. Uh, Louis don't know that. No, he don't know his wife. He, she like, didn't tell him. She didn't tell him all of her business. Her, her, her real, <laughs> her dark skeleton. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, so, uh, so the mom got out of there. <laughs> She was able to maneuver that, but please. So um, he finally goes looking for a Jax because he yeah. wants to ask the questions that need to be asked. Of course. But when he gets to her house, you know, the babysitter's there and she's like, she went out with a friend for coffee, but she gave this address in case of an gave emergency. Too much she gave her up. <laughs> gave her up, ma'am. Gave her up. He goes, tracks down that address. Yes, he did. He look out. He look over the, the, the babysitter's like, "Is my shift is over though?" <laughs> <laughs> like, are you gonna take your kids you gonna with take you? Your kids? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. So he looking out the window. Who he see? He see Miss uh, uh, Jack Stewart, mm. uh, canoodling with a certain ex-con, yeah, Damon, caressing his face and all. Yes, she did. And he calls her phone like, oh, you want to play? Yeah. Yeah. Let me call. Let me see you pick up. She said, not important. <laughs> Meanwhile, he don't know. Something could happen to your kids. She said, if it was an emergency, he'll text he'll me. He'll text me. Continue. Tell me more. And uh, uh, Louis gets out the car like, oh, I'm about to. He oh, sees red. Play? He sees red. You want to play? I wanted him to go in there so badly. I wanted him to bust through those doors, have her shook. What was she going to say? What was she going to say? But and I Jack, wanted to see Damon get out of character. You know, he, he would have, ooh, he would have moved that table. What, dude? Oh, man. Next thing you know. Not the knife in the neck. Just saying. Going back to the trial. <laughs> I mean. Just saying. I mean. Just saying. So let's be happy he didn't go in. No. We're, we're happy. We're happy. We're happy he didn't go He's still in. alive. He's still alive. He's still with us. But you know, Lewis said, I ain't even wasting my time. No. You want to do this? Mm-hmm. I got something for you. So he he goes into villain mode. Yeah. This is how villains are born. Yeah. He hit us with the Lawrence at that moment. He did. <laughs> sure enough, he did. 
He said he didn't go straight to he 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 sat and he sat with it for a while. Mm. He said he said what am I doing? What am I waiting why? for? Who am I waiting for? Why am I waiting? <laughs> he said how am I waiting? <laughs> and then he called Saka Mom Ho and put it on her. Mm-hmm. And it went off. Yeah, she couldn't wait. She was waiting by the phone. She was like, why won't he call me? <laughs> she was so excited. So he um. He tells his brother, "Yeah, um, I'm done with Jax. I'm done. And brother's like, all right, I'm with you. We roll out. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <sighs> um, so apparently he's done with Jax. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Mm. Did anything happen with the trial in this yeah, episode? Yeah, 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 the trial. So with the trial, you know. Um, I just know some paperwork was missing. Yeah, that's basically the, the there's holes. If one thing Jack's going to do, she's going to find the loopholes. And there's, uh, apparently, someone had altered the evidence of the scene. Mm. There was extra fingerprints that they did not run. Mm. There was um, fi- uh, paperwork. Um, w- there was a witness that wasn't there. There was so much stuff that yeah. was not accounted for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jack got to the bottom of it. Right. So now they're trying to figure out who that third fingerprint was. That was it wasn't Braden and it wasn't uh, Kalisha. Mm. So who was it? We who need to know. It? Who was it? So let's go into the writers' room. Yeah, let's do it. QCCs. Um, so I want to really start with, um, well, well, the phone. Okay, there we go. This is my friend though. She always got my back. You always know what I'm trying to say. So. Predictions. Mm-hmm. I think. Come on. Say it. Let's say. It. Say it. I think that Damon is definitely the one that got her choked up and will know no, something. That, that's right. And he said, call me ASAP. That dude you running around with ain't safe. Mm-hmm. So that's why Damon was like, delete, delete, delete. 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 No evidence, no face, no case. <laughs> Yes, so we here. We're here. Mm-hmm. Cause you know he do private security. He does. So he probably, you know, either ran uh Damon's name through like whatever software. <laughs> whatever database. <laughs> database. Or he was following him. Oh yeah. And he found out, you know, something about Damon. Yes. And he's like, Your life is in danger. Call me Call ASAP. Me ASAP. It doesn't matter about what, what happened between us. I don't even care no more. I mean, you still made a mistake. <laughs> we'll talk about that, but your life is important right now. <laughs> so he del- so obviously, because like, it's not like, um, let's say the the text was like, oh, I miss you. Yeah, I want to see you. Yeah, it was nothing you. like that. It was, I need to talk to you ASAP. So why why do you care? Right. Granted, he's jealous. He's insecure. Yes, he is. But it's like, if it's if you cared about me, you would say, hey, somebody's calling you. They're saying right. it's important. Stop playing. Damon, you're guilty. Damon, something's shifty in those eyes. Higher up on the board. It's those eyes. It's those eyes. I don't trust them. Mm-mm. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. Uh, and what if other? she tells him this is over, he's going to kidnap her. He's going to kidnap her and lock her up and put a gun to her head. Yeah. Which we see. <laughs> Which we know. We know. So he's on the board. He's in the number one spot now. Number one spot. Congratulations, Damon. <laughs> That's you. Um, do we feel that uh, Lewis is legit villain era um, F, F everybody? I think it's justified. He's innocent. Um, is it just like, like you said, Jax is freely doing her own thing. She's not caring about Lewis. She's not caring about, you know, how messing with Damon can affect her family, her marriage. She don't give a damn. She's thinking about herself only. That's it. So Jack, Jax, Lewis is going to do the same. He's like, what am I waiting for? You want to play? I thought we were taking time, working (laughs) on ourselves, and we're going to meet in the middle. Yeah. You out lava gagging (laughs) and and, and, and canoodling. Caressing? Caressing the face? Who this man? Nah, so that I uh, there's lo- he's he's acting out yeah. out of anger as he should. Yeah, um, pettiness, sure, revenge, justified. Sure, I mean he would look like a fool to just sit back waiting for her 
whenever she's ready, if she's ever yeah. ready. And Jax gave me the energy, like, let's say Lou Lewis rolled up on you. Like, what are you doing? Jax, I'm like, boy, get in your car. Mm-hmm. Boy, we'll mm-hmm. talk about this later. Where are the kids? Where the- <laughs> did you did you get them? Did you pick them up? Where are the kids? <laughs> um, but Jax, come on. Also, Jax, you and him switch days. You should stay home with your kids. Yeah. Save that date night for when you don't have the kids. What are you doing? And that's Granted, priority. That's what the babysitter's for. But if it wasn't even her night. She was watching the kids for, or was she? I don't know, but I know she I said know. she was, did she call in the babysitter for an emergency? Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, Lewis came home like, where's Jax? Like, oh, she had to go meet a client? Ain't no client? Mm-mm. Ex-client. <laughs> ex con um okay do we feel that they're really done (sighs) i don't think they're they're really done i think that they should listen to the friend's advice and go to couples counseling Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wasn't it one of them had had suggested it she had suggested it he never wanted to go yeah he said i don't need anyone telling me my he felt like that uh therapist would just be on jack's side right um, but the male friend said, you know, that's what helped me and my wife is couple therapy. I think therapy. they need it. Yeah. Because their problem is rooted in a lack of communication. Right. And, um, a lot of things that they probably don't feel like they're dooming to each other. Yeah. Um, so I think they should do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, a question with Damon and, uh, Jax, would you ever go through your partner's phone? Mm, no, I would not. I feel like going through your phone, going through a phone is um, a sign that you you don't already trust that person. Yeah, and if I don't trust you, why am I here? Right, it has to go. How to go? Have I peeked down when they're on it? Absolutely. Sure. A little, a little, little eye. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I mean, the phones are bright. It's bright. If a notification comes on, oh, who's that? Okay, that's it. That's all. Who's calling? Well, I'm not going through your Mm-mm. phone. I'm not putting your fingerprint. No. <laughs> putting your face. No. Who got time for that? While you're asleep. <laughs> Who got time for that? That's too much. It's no, way no. too much investigation work. No, 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 no. I don't have time. I'm sleeping. Um, but if it's a little. Okay. Yeah. That's it. It's... But what Damon did, deleting messages, psycho. Cross the line. Out of out, out line. Psychotic behavior. Damon's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, I think right now everyone else is on pause. Damon is our... Damon did suspect. it. Damon Number did it. suspect, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, Kalisha's case, um, we didn't get too many new leads. Um, so, we're going to keep the same three that we have. Who were... The partner. The husband. And Sarah, right? And Sarah. Do we have the husband up there? The partner, Sarah, and I guess Brayden. But yeah, Brayden's up there, but he's at the bottom. Mm-hmm. So he's still up there. The husband. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So that's the case right now. The that's cases. The cases. The, right cases the cases. So um, I'm I'm just um, I'm good. Okay. So that's all for this. Sorry, week. y'all. <laughs> libations and whatnot this is why we don't ever um drink on the show but cheers to solving the case but we can't drink because of you <laughs> she's right she's it's right. the truth it's the truth yep. i know my friend she does okay so i'll close out yes please okay all right guys so that's it for this week um follow us on all social media platforms at seriously podcast hey. listen to us on all podcast platforms and watch us on black oak tv mm-hmm. uh we'll see you next week yes um, happy Thanksgiving. Happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Bye, y'all. <laughs>